hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here kindly like share and subscribe down there so uh today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to fix and correct your skin tones on adobe premiere pro cc it's not really a challenging thing to do but if you don't know it it's going to be a hell of a task but today i'm going to show you how to do it much easier and simpler the way i learned how to do it before i knew everything so yeah let's get into it and let's begin so yeah guys we are here at the desk so now i'm going to show you how we're going to go around this so right here this is uh this is the sample video that i'll be using since this is what i used to tease uh this is what i used to tease the, uh, about the tutorial so i'm going to use this this is me and uh this is part of the tutorial i did last week which was about how I use my Photoshop actions on how I edit fast on Photoshop. So yeah, so I'm going to disable the audio on this so that it won't distract us. So yeah, this is the video, yeah? And as you can see, um, the skin tones are kind of like yellowish. If you're keen, you'll see that the, the skin tones are yellowish. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here to the color tab and that will open our color space, editing space. So using that, I'm going to, uh, first of all, what you need to do is uh, create an adjustment layer. So instead of doing all the corrections directly on the footage, use the adjustment layer. That way you're doing it non-destructively. You're not destroying it. You can go back and delete something you feel like you didn't do right. So usually the first thing to do the only thing I can suggest you do on the footage is the basic correction, which I'm going to do now. So the only thing I usually do here is to set the white balance. So to set the white balance, you come here and select the white balance selector. Then pick a gray or white area. This will help you balance it out. So I don't see much of a difference for mine, but there is, there is something. So there it is. Now to the skin tones. This right here is what we call a ve vector scope. And you see this line here. It's called the skin tone line or the flesh line. This right here is usually the, the line that shows you where all your skin tones lie. So if, if, if the skin tones don't lie along or near this line, that means your skin tone is totally off. So what you have to do to encompass the area of where your skin tones are situated, I'll just find a good spot where, where all, now nah, this is too close, too close. Okay, like here. So I'll, I'll come back to the part you need to select is the HSL secondary. That's where, that's the tool that will give you the power to select the skin itself so that you whatever you're doing it won't affect the rest of the image but just the skin so i'll come to hsl and uh you have to key the keying is what we're doing we're keying out the skin so that we can apply settings or changes to it so i'll pick the select color 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 set tool and i'll come and point it by skin so so far you may find a selection but if I come to this area, you can see that I've selected bits of my skin tone, but not everything. So with this set color plus tool, I'll just come and add, add bits of it. Just come and glide it. Click again, glide it on your skin. The range of which you want to affect. So select killer part your skin in it unaona inafaa kuwa ndani hiyo information yenye hii color color picker inafaa ku select that way after you select you will have selected most of the skin and not just a bit of it so yeah there we go let me see so now is if you can see i've inverted everything else to just show the skin tone na size you can see very well that we have selected a very big range of the skin tone so now let's begin. Now, since I have secluded the skin to its own layer, kind of like, you can see here on the, on the, on the flesh line that 
our our colors are they're almost there on the on the flesh line they're not so much off but you also have to be keen that your screen is color accurate and the vector scope is correct <laughs> so that we have a balance of both juka mimi my screen is not that color accurate but with the help of the vector scope i'll be able to tell whether my skin tones are correct so let's begin aha uh -huh. so what i usually do first is find my problem area which which for for my case is um i said yellow yellow is the bit of my skin that i feel is creeping in in aribu venye skin tone in aka so to help me with that i'm going to increase my temperature to about say 14 or 15 as you can see once i did that change all this info color information is moving towards the flash line which means i'm doing a, a good job so i just come back then switch off and on so if you can see before you can see the yellowness in my skin after there's a, a bit of red that has been introduced into my skin which is a good thing so now i'm going to come back you have to do minute minute nini kidogo kidogo ukiendo kiangalia venye ime affect image yako ndio usi overdo no si underdo just to get the sweet spot so now i'm going to increase the tint to about i don't like increasing the tint much but towards magenta say 3.8 and you can see before and after before and after our skin tones now have life here before i looked kind of like a zombie and after it looks like my skin is vibrant and alive so that's just about it that's everything you need to know so what you need to know is that the hsl tool is the key thing that will help you to, to isolate your skin to make adjustments to it so another thing i forgot is that whenever you are doing corrections on your skin it is good to denoise kidogo so go to about 6.5 and a little blur of like 2.3 or something when 2.3 is too much like 1.1.5 1 that way the the changes you make they're not too apparent they're just right so i'll come back then switch it on and off so this is our before and that is our after before after you can clearly see the difference so i don't want to to keep it much so if i play it it even looks much better than without the color correction on the skin because your skin is usually affected by the light you're using so i usually use the godox sl 60w for my sit downs and uh it will kind of wash out your skin color that's why you you always have to come back and correct it from here so i'm going to bring in another i'm going to bring in another clip i don't know if I'll, yeah, let's see let's see let's see there's some red footage i downloaded from the web a while back so let me import that folder so that we can use it and see how that will go red footage is actually very taxing to a computer so i hope this goes well so let's use this one i'll place it on the timeline bam so as you can see i don't know if you can see this let me scale to frame size yes this is what we have so i'll just bring forth my adjustment layer then back uh, if you can hear that sound that, that's the the fans of the laptop that have just kicked in that's what red footage does to your device so i'm going to color correct first which is white balance she's wearing a white coat yeah so let me delete the effects of the previous one the previous grade come and do this afresh so basic correction white balance come select a jacket now with red footage this is log footage and if you want to bring the color back you have to add contrast 
the best way to add contrast is not just to bring the contrast up but you have to do it minutely with the adjustments i usually bring the blacks down and the shadows up but not too much white chini highlights i usually drop my highlights but with the contrast since it's red log footage you can bring it all the way to the end to bring back the color it won't break apart it's 16 bit 16 bit can hold itself so once you've done that you can see the before and after we're getting somewhere you add a little bit of saturation to the image let's say one 130 128 is good so that's before that's after that's before after so uh, I've done a simple color correction to this so that we can continue on to the skin nice if you can see let me find a better place there as you can see here too that her face is generally the skin tone is is, is, is yellow so what you have to do come to HSL have a selection of her skin tone yeah invert the colors so that you see what you've selected i'll just try and select more and more of her skin tone that way i'll have a bigger selection a wider selection so that when i do my changes it won't just be half of her skin and not the whole so you see now after i've invited that i've inverted that her skin tone has been selected fully now you can do your corrections i'll just come down here and bring my lumetri scope now if you can see according to this lumetri scope all this color information is falling towards yellow that's totally obvious so what i'm going to do is that i'll grab this and move it towards red now if you can see when i'm moving it towards red the information is falling towards it's falling towards the flash line so you don't have to overdo it you do it kiddo go then come and check your your progress so i'll bring it kiddo go towards red then reduce it and desaturate it kidogo do it natural so let me show you a difference of before and after so that's before it was totally yellow yellow kabisa then after life in her skin so this is just for demonstration purposes if it was a, a paid job it would have taken more time because depending on what your client needs or wants you'll do that but for a basic correction as a standard that's what you do hsl cell secondary select your color and you know your skin tone all of it once you've selected invert to see whether you selected all of it then make your adjustments okay that's just about it so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next on the next video i don't know you'll tell me so i need i need your feedback in the comments I need you to tell me whether you like this content. The best way to tell me you like this content is to comment and give me a like. That way I know these folks love this content. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.